Pendulum's underrated. And here's why. Hey guys, Envy here. Let's go on a digital adventure. So today we're going to be talking about pendulums, which I think they're quite an underrated like, device, be in Digimon V-Pets or just general V-Pets in general. And I think we need to show them more love, especially trying to like push them to Bandai, which, yeah. Here I've got three different types of pendulums. I've got Pendulum Zs, I've got the Pendulum 20th, and the Pendulum Progress. So, before I talk about my main reasons why I need to give these devices love, I'm just going to give like a quick history lesson on pendulums, which is, is quite interesting. So, with the first release of the original version ones that came out in 1997, the original um, pendulums came out in 1998, with a bit of a twist on the old classic devices. This brings me to my first point of like why the pendulum is quite underrated. So unlike the first cube rectangle devices, to interact about with them you have to kind of just press buttons. But with the pendulums, you actually have to shake them if you can hear the like pendulum inside of it shaking. It's how you interact, it's how you train, it's how you battle your Digimon, which I think is pretty cool because it kind of gives you like more interaction with the actual device instead of just tapping a few buttons. So the first pendulum type I'm going to talk about are the Pendulum Zs. I have covered the Pendulum Zs, Zs, whatever people want to call them, in another video along with the 20th as well. But I kind of just want to talk about like the rough gist of like this device and why I think the Pendulum Zs are really, really cool. So the cool thing about the Pendulum Zs is that there are six different variations. Each device has its own theme with Digimon. So here we've got the Deep Savers, which has like a sea slash water theme with the Digimon. And here's the Virus Buster, has like the mainline Digimon, like Argumon, Gilmon, which is really cool. Also, I believe as well, these are like a remake of like the old classic ones. I think they had like a similar theme to it as well. These devices will also run very, very similar to DMXs with um, the leveling up, the close up of the sprites, and the sleep feature, or like the froze feature, which again is another nice feature of the devices. So the next pendulum we're going to cover is the Pendulum 20th, which runs very similar to the current 20ths in terms of having like the two Digimon and different lines of them. But the cool thing this, you can actually put your Digimon to freeze. Again, I've covered like the main features of this device in a previous video. But a massive cool thing about this device personally, I think this device at the moment has the most Digimon, which is amazing in terms of like replay value and just skin, you know, you buck you bang for your buck, as I say. The next device I want to show, and I think is probably the best out of the two devices I've shown, is the Pendulum Progress, which is a super, super unique device. And already you can tell just by the screen alone that the sprite work is absolutely amazing. Nice. Like, look at that. That looks sick. XVMon looks amazing. Again, with this pendulum, it has the whole, like, shaking feature as well. But it has a different menu system, which you just got pressed on one button to scroll through. So you don't, like, have, like, little icons on, like, the top and the bottom of it. And it has, like, its own different display, which is super, super cool. I'm going to make a more in-depth video of this device, which I'm going to hopefully, like release and do a full run through in a few weeks time which i can't wait to make the biggest drawback of the pendulums has to be 
the price and the accessibility of these devices due to the fact that some of these devices were never released out of Japan. So the Pendulum Zs were only released in Japan and in progress as well. Why the 20th was released in the US and Europe, but not many was made. So it kind of affects the price of these devices. The cheapest one still being the Pendulum Zs. Well, the 20th is still quite costly and the Pogrest being the most expensive one. So I do think that Bandai are slowly listening to us as a community due to the overwhelming facts with the DMXs, with how many have been ordered despite the manufacturing problems and the lack of devices. But I think they will start listening to us because of the high demand of the DMXs currently. So hopefully we can show Pendulums more love and that might push Bandai to re-release some of the Pendulum devices. And who knows, we might get new V-Pets or maybe like an actual new variation of the oil bracelet, which would be cool if it was actually more of a V-Pet than an actual sports device but anyway thanks for watching this video it's been a bit of a weird one but i kind of feel like pendulums are extremely underrated and i kind of want to give my take on why people should give them more love so if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe currently i've got 31 subscribers which is super amazing and i hope to keep pushing our videos and uh let them know oh i've got poop as well <laughs> but anyway thanks again and i uh, hope to see you next one